Alright, this is a pretty straightforward problem, just basic epsilonics. So, suppose tn goes to t and xn goes to x. So, let epsilon be greater than zero. We want to show that the difference between tn xn and tx is less than epsilon by choosing a large enough n. So, choose n1 um, such that for all n greater than or equal to n1 xn minus x is strictly less than epsilon over 2 times norm of t plus 1 and choose n2 such that for all n greater than or equal to n2 tn minus t is less than okay so we want epsilon over 2 and we're going to divide this whole thing by basically that thing that we have over there here I'll put this in parentheses um, norm of x plus epsilon over 2 t plus 1. So I know this is pretty messy here, but I hope it's kind of clear that like this whole thing here is in the denominator, as is this whole thing here. And basically what we're doing is um, we want to get an epsilon, we want to get epsilons over 2s, and these, um, basically this will give us what we need. And the plus ones that you see in the denominators are only there to prevent us from dividing by zero. Even though the case of either of these being zero is uh, pretty straightforward, this allows us to just take care of everything without having to say like, oh, but first let's take care of the case of when things are zero. We don't even have to go there. Um, then, Okay, then, eh. if we let n be the max of n1 and n2, then for all n greater than or equal to n, we have basically exactly what we want, but let's write it out. Tn xn minus tx, it's going to be less than or equal to, we're going to um, break it up using um, txn. And then let's see here, so this is going to be less than or equal to tn minus t you basically bring everything out that you can factor out. And so now what are these things less than or equal to? Um, hmm, perhaps I need a little more room here. Let's see if we can survive. So this tn minus t, we made sure that this is less than, so we're going to have epsilon over 2, then on the bottom we're going to have epsilon over 2 norm of t plus 1. Oh, that looks horrible. Still looks pretty bad, but maybe it's legible. So this thing here, and then we're going to multiply this by, well, x minus, or xn is equal to xn minus x plus x, and we break that up using the triangle inequality, and so we get xn minus x plus norm of x. And then plus, well we've got this t here, and then we'll multiply that by epsilon over 2t plus 1 because of our estimate on xn. So let's see, what is this less than or equal to or less than? Um, 
Let's see here. Well, we know, let's look at that. We use that estimate for xn minus x. We use that here, but we can use it here as well. And so what we get is we get epsilon over 2, epsilon over 2 norm t plus 1 plus x, this whole ugly term here, and then um, this thing here we're going to get, well, hey, let's see what we're going to get here. We're going to get an epsilon over 2 norm t plus 1. That's what this is going to become. And then the plus x norm, we're just going to keep that there. That looks pretty bad with this being two lines and this being one, um, but I mean, whatever. But then this thing, um, this, we've got this two norm t plus one, and we've got this norm t here, so this is going to be less than epsilon over two. Um, but now we see this denominator here is exactly what we have up here. And so this is actually equal to epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2 and that is equal to epsilon and then instead of scrolling down so that we have enough room actually yeah I will do that there's really not much left here all there is is hence tnxn goes to tx and there we go. That's pretty much it, and we have completed the proof.